Carlos Correa breaks a scoreless tie in the fifth inning with a two-run home run here. That was an absolute bullet. 114 miles per hour, I believe I saw off the bat there. And the Twins won today 5-1 to one behind, you know, in large part, a good start from Dylan Bundy. That was a big reason why. Five innings, two hits, no runs, one walk, four strikeouts. Uh, did only go five, got removed after 66 pitches. I'm still on board with that plan. I still don't trust this guy that much in a close game especially, but you got to tip my cap. Uh, Bundy's pitched a lot better than I expected. Here's the Rocco on that decision a little bit more. With the way that the game played out, um, we were going to the bullpen right there. Um, and in a different uh, situation, he would keep pitching because uh, he was pitching great. And uh... Michael Fulmore got in a bit of trouble in the seventh, and Duran came in to bail him out. They tried to safety squeeze, but Duran makes a really nice play, really stayed composed. And I like that at the end when they get the out call, he does his little strikeout skip even. Um, so he was pumped up. Again, just made, made it look easy. Slowed things down, and then the strikeout to strand those runners in the seventh. He came back and pitched the eighth as well. I'll call this guy Skipper. I mean, that, I guess it's not a very intimidating nickname, but like the Skipper of a boat, you know? I, I don't know. Country Heat didn't really work out. But anyway, Jose Miranda had a huge two-out double late in this game to give the Twins some much-needed breathing room. Actually, the Twins scored one run in the eighth and two runs in the ninth inning. I see Correa, Miranda, Kepler, and Cave all had two hits. Correa and Miranda with two RBI apiece. Unfortunately, the Twins still struggled with runners in the scoring position today, one for nine. Uh, but they got the job done anyway. Again, Bundy carrying a lot of the weight for the pitching staff, but Jax also turned in a scoreless inning. Uh, Duran covering parts of two innings was huge. You know, he hasn't done that a lot. Uh, and he threw 20 or 18 of his 20 pitches for strikes. And I know it's a little bit disappointing for the Twins to only win one of the games of this series, but that's still enough to keep them in a tie for first place in the AL Central with Cleveland because they've been terrible of late. <laughs> it's the turd derby, people. In St. Paul, Josh Winder looked great. He really did. Four innings pitched, one hit, one run. It was unearned. No walks, three strikeouts. There's a 96-mile-per-hour fastball. Uh, looking like he might just kind of slot in uh, and be a, a good Tyler Malley replacement if they can kind of make that work. Uh, Winder coming back from shoulder problems of his own. Am kind of ironic there, I guess. And Randy Dobnak pitched in this one as well. Two innings. He did give up a solo home runs, two strikeouts. Uh, but he just went sliders. He just slidered this guy to death. He just kept going out, out, out. And he said, I'll, I'll throw it in the other batter's box. If you want to swing at it. <laughs> and uh, Cole Sands also pitched. He didn't pitch very well, but he pitched for the Saints as well. So lots of guys in the comeback trail there. Jared Camargo, he had a rough night uh, the previous evening. But tonight he hits a three-run home run. Unfortunately, that was all the offense that Wichita would get. But that brings up the best home run trot in the system right now. Lots of pointing. He's got the little little sidestep thing i love he's got the handshake at third he's got more it's a lot of pointing let's just keep it real it's a lot of pointing but best homer trot in the system jair camargo i love that guy cedar rapids brooks lee was doing some you know first round pick guy stuff in this one he hits a double here in the first inning uh, and then later he hits a, a just a beautiful home run and we talked about this with matt wallner the other day the lefties who can kind of just do that cool bat drop and the walk into their home run trap, Ken Griffey Jr. style. It's like one of the coolest things you can do on a baseball diamond. And he did his look at, look at how much that cleared in the outfield. We'll take another look at that. This was a big boy shot here. Uh, his fourth home run of the year, and it looked good, and he liked to look at it. Look at him enjoying that one a little bit. Good for him. That was a blast. My goodness, not not a guy really uh, build as much for his power as his just overall hitting ability. But man, when he pulls on one, uh, he can hit him a long way. Tons of Fort Myers highlights because, you know, we don't get a lot of these. This was our last game against Bradenton. Very thankful for their broadcasts. Keone Cavaco gets around on this one inside to hit a double that scores a runner from all the way from first base. And Cavaco comes around with third base on the throw there. He's still struggling, but showing some tools off. Dylan Tatum homers his sixth home run of the year for Fort Myers. Uh, this is a guy who was a 2021 20th round pick, and he was playing first base today. Uh, usually he's a catcher, though, Dylan Tatum, that is. But Noah Cardenas was a catcher today, and here he is hitting a double. He was three for four with two doubles and a walk. Noah Cardenas, you know, has a 833 OPS. You know, he's among the system leaders in walks. He's among the Florida State League leaders in walks and on-base percentage. 
having a great year. Carlos Aguiar here hits a two-run double. He's a guy who's been on my radar for quite a while, uh, really playing well for Fort Myers. Daniel Azoria hits a home run, and he might uh, be a contender for the home run trot, by the way. He's got this cool baby rocking thing, I think. I'm not sure what that is. We might not have to worry because that was only his third home run in 299 career minor league games, so we don't see that often. Tanner Schobel playing third base. It was the guy I kind of circled defensively that I wanted to really take a look at. Here's some throws that he makes. Played mostly shortstop in college with some second. He's but mostly been playing second in the minors. Unfortunately, makes an error on an easy play here. Uh, but his arm looks good for, good enough for me to, to keep putting him over there if needed. And he makes this good diving stop. Again, fires across the diamond on target. Uh, so again, that was Tanner Schobel. Second round pick. Well, sandwich pick. 68th overall in this year's draft. Here are the results. Twins and Muscles won. Everybody else lost. Thank you so much to all the members. Here are the premium members listed. And thank you for watching this video. We will talk again soon.